good chest activation when it comes to doing chest. Very important to build muscle. You really got to focus on that mind to muscle connection. I know you probably heard that before, but it's very important to uh, really get a good pump, get the blood flowing in your chest and just burn down these muscle fibers. So let's get to it. I'm going to share with you four tips. I wish I, I would have known like when I started lifting. When I do my bench setup, it doesn't matter if it's with dumbbells or a barbell. But let's be honest, we all like to do barbell bench. So what I think of is taking my grip first. I, I choose my grip. Perfect. And then what I do, I really try to make my back as tight as possible and not flat. You don't want your back to be flat like this, okay? You want to have an arch in your mid back like this to save your shoulders and put them back and safe. So I choose my grip. And then what I like to do personally, I like to get on the bench like this. And then I go right under the barbell. And then I really dig in my shoulder blades nice and deep in the bench. Put myself a nice arch in my mid back. And then I put my glutes, my hips on the bench. Very important to have your, your hips on the bench. And then you can see there's an arch right here in my lower back. There's a space that's normal. That's perfect right there. And then I keep my, my feet flat, and then I unrack the, the barbell, and I start my pressing while keeping my back extremely tight throughout the whole movement, my shoulders nice and back. Tip number two, go slow. Slower is usually better to have a chest activation. So what I mean by that is when you go down, go a little bit slower, pause it on the way down, explode back up. Go slow on the way down, pause it, back up, slow, pause, back up. Very efficient to have much better chest activation and blood flow. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to try different grips. You see, I always like to take my grip like this, a pronated grip, but try a neutral grip once in a while like this. Why not? It's a really good chest pump and it's easier on the shoulders. Let's say you have bad mobility or shoulder injuries. You can even go supinated if you want to. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta try different things to see which one works best for you. For me personally, the one I like the most is like this. I like to press like this. It's a little bit of a, a weird angle, but it's not exactly like this, you see? It's a little bit more of an angle like this. So try different grips. Try neutral grip first maybe. That's an easier grip usually. But make sure to have good, good full range of motion and then see what works best for you. The last tip I got is try all the different chest machines in your gym that are available because you might find a really good machine that works better for you than doing a barbell bench press, for example. I know for myself, I prefer the cables. You know when you grab these two cables and then you do your chest flies like this? I have a much better mind to muscle connection doing these with the cables than even a barbell. So my recommendation is just try all the different fucking machines and see which one works best for you. They're highly underrated and they're made just for that, just to isolate your chest. I mean, why not do them? They're very efficient and you can really save a lot of energy compared to doing a barbell or a dumbbell bench press because it's just chest, it's just isolation movements. So yeah, these are the tips I always try to keep in mind when doing presses. It doesn't matter if it's with a barbell, dumbbells, or machines, I always do the exact same thing. Even if it's like a seated chest machine, I always retract my shoulder blades to keep my shoulders nice and safe and activate my chest better. Try these different options. Some might work for you. It doesn't mean it's gonna work, but it might just work for you. I always try to keep in mind to, keep, to try different things. It's very important when it comes to building muscle and strength. Take it easy. Have a good day.